Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor. So on my copper fill video where I was tumbling things in a rock tumbler, I had uh, somebody ask me, Lucas Propender said, could you point me to the link of the tumbler insert that I made as they have the exact same type of tumbler and would like to try it. And you know what? I will definitely do that, but I'm going to go one step further and show you how I made this tumbler to match the size of this exactly in Blender because it's super quick and easy to do. That way, if you have one that you uh, doesn't fit this one, you could still do this. And then I will show you how I managed to screw even that up by making it way too complicated. Hey everybody, let's make an insert for this tumbler, shall we? To begin with, Open up Blender, blank project. What you need to do is add, uh, the shape of this of course is going to be a cylinder. But of course this cylinder is for some reason upside down. Um, isn't big enough. This is a two millimeter wide cylinder. We need this cylinder to be bigger. So pull out your calipers, open them up, measure the inside diameter of this thing and getting the, the feelers down where we want them. The inside diameter of this is uh, 102 point, uh, 0.5 approximately. And there's always some give with round things. But since we want this to slide in and out easier, we're going to take its radius and crank it up to uh, maybe 101, maybe 101.5. Uh, and of course we divide that in two because we don't want the diameter, we want the radius. And how deep to make it. Yeah, two millimeters is not quite deep enough. So once again, the old handy dandy calipers, drop them in there. There's there's a lip on the inside, which is supposed to be where this piece settles in there. And you do kind of want to get it to be as close to that as possible. Uh, but I found in my experiments that I actually needed to go a little bit more than that. Uh, because there's a lot of give in here. And so being able to press down on it works all right um what are we at right there what are we at uh 100.5 so we'll just make its depth 100. again we're we're erring on the side of being a little bit light for the first draft now this is the basic shape of the cylinder oh and we also want to crank up the vertices 32 vertices is fine for a small thing but for a large thing we maybe want to crank that up to 128. I still like to do things in multiples of two. I don't know why. But you know what? For normal people, let's just crank it up to 200, okay? There we go. That makes it nice and smooth and round. The fewer vertices you have, the closer to round the thing is going to be. If you do something with just eight vertices around the outside, it's going to have very sharp corners. And in fact, those corners will will cause the straight lines in between most of it will be too small but those corners might be too big you just you don't want to do that more vertices okay but this is not this shape this is a solid shape and if you 3d printed this now some clever people might say well i could just vase print this and absolutely you could absolutely you could if you have a 3D printer with a slicer that will allow you to do that. And most slicers will, but some don't. And with the newer printers coming out, I prefer just to have some level of control. Plus, if you if you just uh, vase print this and you want to have it very thick, that's a lot of plastic. It's essentially a 100% infill, which might be okay. If you're going to be doing this for wet printing, a 100% infill is absolutely what you want, so it's more watertight. But... I didn't do that. I wanted to have it. I wanted to control the thickness. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into edit mode. We're going to select the top face and we're going to delete just that face. Now we've got a hollow cup, but it has no thickness. So it's not 3D printable at this point. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a modifier. The modifier is called solidify. Solidify takes two dimensional objects and turns them into three dimensional objects and takes three dimensional objects and gives them a shell. If the object's too complex, then sometimes this modifier gets a little bit confused and it could be frustrating. But for a nice simple cylinder, it's okay. And I'm gonna give it a three millimeter wall. Uh, let's see, scales are all good. You have to watch the scale on this modifier because it applies its stuff pre-scale and rotation. But three millimeter, actually, I think that I went for a five millimeter wall, did I? 
Yeah, I went for a 5 millimeter wall, so let's crank this up to a 5 millimeter wall. The bigger you make this wall, the smaller your internal space is going to be, which can be good if you're just tumbling small objects, you want to have more, more space to tumble them. Uh, now let's take a look at this in, well, doggone it, so many vertices, it doesn't quite work. I'm going to really quickly say even thickness and high quality normals. Notice how the bottom changed a little bit. Uh, it's difficult to see, yeah, this isn't showing us a darn thing, but even thickness makes it, it's just better. Turning on those two, even thickness and high quality and normal is kind of what I do all the time. And there we go, there's the insert. That's all I did for this one. Uh, I printed it out and found that it actually printed, it was, it was too close, so I had to shave the dimensions down even a little bit more. I don't remember quite what I got to because... <laughs> So this is, this is what I did for this, and after I was done, I was like, well, yeah, that worked, but I want to one-up it a little bit, and so I did this. Here's the thing, and here's the lid for it. Let's just take a look at the, the tumbler. This is, this is the tumbler that I ended up with here. You can see it's got little uh, sides here to try and keep things stirring. Also, on the bottom of it, it's got little uh, uh, fins to keep things stirring towards the middle the lid for it it has a lid the lid has little fins on it the lid has a thing that you can pull it off also the sides of this are very small and I found out are, are, are a little bit flat so that you can wedge something in to pull it out because it is a tight fit it's a nice it's a nice tight fit on there I kind of need to wiggle it on there a little bit and then it holds on nice and tight and then I discovered even after all that that I needed to add an air groove down the side because as I was pushing it in it was too tight and the air kind of compressed and I couldn't get it any further so I for this one I sanded it off and I'm gonna get a hacksaw and cut down and create the groove but for the one that I'll post online I've taken a forced a groove and I put that on the side where that one of these uh, little fins uh, I, I you know there's there's probably some engineering term for these things and I don't even know it making the internal space even smaller but it's, it's sure to agitate so this is the one i just i went crazy with it adding fins like this and even putting i put a little ridge around the outside edge so that i could stick my fingers in there and pull it out when i want to and let's let's just insert this into the tumbler there we go gotta gotta go in straight but that little i can feel the air pushing out from it there we go and it goes right to the edge of that this sticks up above the edge just a little bit, but it's okay because the the uh, rubber lid on top pushes it in. Now I tried doing this, uh, tried doing a, a previous version of this uh, insert with a wet process, and it ended up leaking through the walls, uh, which should have been expected. No 3D print is really watertight, especially after uh, agitating it a whole lot. Uh, but there it goes it fits right in there you can feel the pressure on there it is it is a good tight seal and ready to tumble uh, i've been thinking here let me show you the lid i've been thinking that on the lid i should probably take this lip here which is just almost perfectly tight and moving it in just a little bit maybe so that i can stretch a rubber band around it and get a rubber seal and then if i do the 100 percent print uh, fill print on this I could have it watertight but you know I, I'm showing you how easy it is to do this and then of course how difficult it is these fins I created by uh, creating a primitive shape uh, and then adding edges to it and mesh smoothing it to make it all fancy um, the the fins on the inside here are just super simple these are just primitive shapes did I, did I even, no, I didn't even mess smooth them. I just took one cylinder and I extruded it up and then I extruded it out and uh, it was just simple. It's just a, a simple shape. Uh, these shapes around the outside edge here, I took a cube, rotated it 45 degrees, moved it up, pulled one side out and then rotationally uh, mirrored it or, or duplicated it around the center five times i think the first time i did eight but i couldn't do them as long and then i realized i want them longer so i did them just five and there we go there's the uh yeah i might have gone a little bit crazy on it i mean this is the basic shape the basic simple idea for it and this is what i ended up going with 
Uh, 101.5. So yeah, I did, I did it 101.5, I guess, uh, which is what I had set this at originally. 101.5. Okay, I need to take it up 0.5. That's why it was too tight. 100, 101 on this one will be perfect. 101.5, you need to cut yourself a little air groove for it. But there you go. There's, there's how you do an insert. The link for downloading this fancier insert will be wherever links are found. You know where to find them. Simon's there to remind you to uh, like, subscribe, share, and enjoy. I will have a survey at the end of this video, so be sure to vote on what you think that I should do next to help guide the direction of the channel. And I'll see you next time. For this week's survey, I'd like to know what you would like to see me do next. Should I do a toy, a board game piece, something fun, or should I do something more functional for doing chores around the house? Go ahead and click the link to cast your vote.